Five, four, three, two, one, boom. What's up, champions? This is Coach Rayal with Getting Real with Rayal, where we ask the question, do we want it? Or are we just talking about it? We get real, raw, authentic, and brutally honest because that is the only way we are going to become everything we were created to be. Well, welcome back to Getting Real with Rael, and this is Coach Rael, and today's episode is how do we conquer our fears, and this to me is probably one of the most important things that we learn to do because it's probably one of the number one things that keeps us back from our victories, and today I'm going to share two things with you that will really, really make a difference and help you to conquer your fear. Check it out. So my God drop today, guys, is... How do we deal with fear? Uh, Fear is probably the number one thing that keeps us from being everything we were created to be. Boom? So yes, boom means you agree. Um, Ooh, two baby skunks. Ooh, that was weird. Both roadkill. Um, So the way that we conquer fear is uh, two things. One, self-calming right self-calming to what i call gradual action okay self-calming is uh breathing meditation yoga just having quiet time you know those are all methods of self-calming that you breathing is a big one okay because we can do that anywhere anytime any place Big breath, a good one is what they call box breathing, okay? Breathe in for a count of four, hold it for a count of four, breathe out for a count of four, hold that for a count of four, breathe back or count of two or three or whatever that is, right? Um, The next one is, like I said, what I call gradual action. And I'm going to use my amazing dog, Diamond, for an example. So when we met Diamond, uh, she was majorly abused. She had cigarette burns on her head. She was beaten with a stick. She was, so needless to say, she feared, um, feared, you know, I'm going to specifically use me, was very scared of this big, African-American guy towering over her like if I even came near her she would hover and and all that so you know to what I would do is you know as you know you get a little close to them and you put your hand out and you stay still and eventually her hair on the back goes down and she stops shivering so much and and she relax right then I walk away and then I'll come back and this time I get a little closer and you know, her hairs go up and she shivers and, you know, all that. And, you know, I come and let her know I mean no harm. And, you know, uh, you know, she finally starts to relax and breathe and, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I, I walk away again. And now I get a little closer this time, right up real close. And she's like, you know, and I put my hand out the back of my hand and I just let it. And she kind of edges forward and kind of like gets close and now she starts licking it right and now the thing that she feared she no longer fears to the point that wherever I go she is quick in tow she follows me everywhere I go in the house because I earned that trust right I because I didn't push her you know, I gradually took action, allowing her to gradually take action, right? So, when we're dealing with fear, what I encourage us is the two things is to, you know, to self-calm and the gradual action. Meaning that when you're approaching any of those things that you fear that cause you anxiety, flying on a plane, for me it used to be death, um, you know, uh, closed quarters, MRI, PET scan, any of those things, right? You know, I start to breathe, self-calm, 
and then you know like let me use a pet scan for example i walk a little closer into the room stop breathe get myself together maybe i gotta walk away come back this time next time i can go a little farther so now the thing that i fear i realize that it's not it cannot really hurt me it's stuff i created in my head yes boom and uh boom boom yeah i like that boom boom and um so when you get great at doing those things you will knock the things off that you fear right and and it really comes down to fear all those things that in our life that are that we fear the people that you know we don't understand at the end of the day they're all wanting love even fear wants love so and isn't that what we're about in amari guys teach ourselves to love ourselves first and then help others to love themselves so at the core of it all love is the answer boom 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 all right guys that's my god drop for the day i love you I appreciate you. Let's go out there and crush the day. Let's make the rest of the day the best of the day. I believe in you till you believe in yourself. Boom! Well, there you have it, champions. I am grateful for you. I look forward to hearing from you on how this makes a difference in your life. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an episode. And hey, when you're on Apple Podcasts, I appreciate if you leave a comment and our rating. It bumps us up so more people hear it. You can follow me on my Instagram, at Rail Andrews. And with that said, thank you for sharing this with your friends. I appreciate it because it's not about changing our lives. How many lives can we change? And if more people people hear it, we'll change more lives. So with that said, I am out.